What's going on guys, Carl here, back with hopefully my last comparison, of course, of the brand new OnePlus 6, this time around against the Pixel 2. I'm going with the XL on this one. And in case this is your first video, part of this mega series, I've kind of compared the OnePlus 6 against all other flagships, and of course have unboxed it with my very first hands-on at launch. I will leave that linked up in this corner here for you to check out. And I am of course hooking one of you guys up with a device of your own in either mirror black or midnight black. Just be sure to of course leave a comment down below on your new feature, why you prefer this over say the Pixel, and make sure you leave a comment on all the other videos part of this series. I will leave of course all info down below and I will announce the winner once I get back from this epic five day trip. So comparison sake, this time around, I did end up grabbing the Midnight Black. I feel it has a closer representation to what's on the back of the Pixel 2. And although the OnePlus may seem like ceramic, they're actually completely made out of glass. OnePlus went above and beyond this time around. I think their manufacturing process was around 40 steps to get the different finishes. Obviously, if you grab the mirror black, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, so just cover that up with a D-brand skin to have a smudge-free life. The Pixel 2, on the other hand, is made out of aluminum with a premium coating of plastic over top. It's been an interesting phone to use over these past couple months, and I honestly love the Panda colorway. It's truly one of my favorite devices just to look at in terms of beauty. On the front is probably where you'll see the biggest difference. Over on the OnePlus 6, we've got a 6.2 inch AMOLED panel. And over on the Pixel 2 XL, this one has a six inch panel. This is POLED, whereas I said this one is AMOLED. One thing that I'll note about the displays, and I'm sure we've all seen the blue gate tinge over on the Pixel 2, that's been slightly corrected, but I won't say it's as vibrant or looks as good as say an AMOLED panel. I think this guy just out of the box in my quick first impressions does look more impressive. Hardware wise, because the Pixel 2 is now six months old, it is I guess a bit dated in terms of tech. It doesn't mean it's any slower, but it does have the previous generation chipsets. We've got the Snapdragon 835, only four gigs of RAM and available in either 64 or 128 gigs. Over on the OnePlus 6, we have a slight refresh. We've got the Snapdragon 845. We either have six or eight gigs of RAM, depending which model you get, either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. And to complement those specs, we are also running very near stock Android. That's always been my favorite thing of OnePlus phones. It is oxygen based OS over top of Android 8.1. The Pixel 2, of course, needs no introduction. It is running stock Android at its purest. And of course, if any of you have seen the keynote of Android P, I am very excited to get that up and running on my Pixel 2. And that'll, of course, receive that update first. When we switch around to the back, we've got the fingerprint sensor location. Both are very quick. Both, of course, are very snappy. And the biggest difference, which we'll find, is, of course, the camera setup. On the OnePlus 6, we've got a dual camera setup. The first is a 16 megapixel sensor with an f1.7 aperture. It's accompanied by a 20 megapixel secondary cam, and that is a stark difference just to the good old tried and trusted king of smartphone photography, the 12.2 inch sensor with f1.8 aperture, which has been honestly a beast, which proves how good software is, how good Google is. It will be definitely interesting in my full camera comparison. I've been taking a ton of shots, so you don't wanna miss that. That should be coming in around a week's time. Make sure you stay posted to the channel. Around the rest of the device for hardware, we've just got the same old volume rocker. The OnePlus, of course, has that good old alert slider, which I love. And on the bottom, we just have USB-C over on the Pixel 2, as the bottom speaker is actually at the front. And unfortunately, RIP headphone jack, that still does live though on the OnePlus 6. And I think that will pretty much wrap up my, of course, hands-on and comparisons of these two flagships. Just keep in mind that the Pixel 2 is six months old and we should be getting a new one. I know the rumor mill has already started churning out, but let me know which device you'd prefer. And just remember, an extra OnePlus 6 is going to one of you peeps. And hopefully you guys are following along on social for the official launch of the OnePlus 6. I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes. Peace.